Hello and welcome. You are watching the ET Money Show. And firstly, on to the show, we are being joined by the CEO of ET Money, who is Mr. Santosh Navlani, and we are going to discuss about the power of compounding. Before we go, that the next on to the show is we are going to discuss on the salary inflation, the new bonuses that you are getting after the year end, and the incremented salary. Where are you going to invest that? What are the options that are available, and how inflation is really impacting that? But in order to beat that one, how are you really going to make plans for that one? And lastly, we have the Tech Tuesday for you, where we are going to tell you how to prevent and have the online privacy. For that, how to know that your system is actually hacked, and what are the various options that are available, which you can implement. And save and safeguard your system from hacking that. So let's go on to all of these interesting conversations. And firstly, on to the show, uh, Mr. Santosh. Thank you so much for joining us on ET Now today. Uh, that's a really interesting concept. We have been knowing this for years now, and we have very sad examples. Like we have Warren Buffett, who has actually um, witnessed this power of compounding. But firstly, would like to know that which one is the right and the optimal age bracket to start investing, and see the wonders of compounding. Which instruments to start with, and what should be the mix initially? Uh, hi everyone. So, uh, see, it's, 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 uh, there is always a uh, never a wrong time to invest. Uh, in that sense, you know, you always should be trying to invest as soon as you can. Uh, naturally, you need to start earning first and start saving enough money before you can actually invest. Uh, so, it's all about when you start investing, uh, st when you start earning your salaries. In that sense, typically, this in India would be about twenty to twenty four in today's times. Uh, so, I would actually say that. Uh, one should start investing the moment you earn your first paycheck. Uh, then the needs or the uh, uh, you know uh, how you go about investing in different stages of life can vary. And I think one of the worst first ways uh, uh, that uh, everybody gets exposed to investments tax saving, and that alone, if uh, done judiciously for uh, 30 years, years of your working life, uh, can actually take care of your retirement corpus completely. And that's where sometimes people get surprised with. But the fact is, if you were to go and utilize entire 2 lakh rupees uh, tax wing investments available to Indian uh, investors or retail, uh, uh, you know, uh, pe uh, common people like you and me, uh, uh, one can actually keep investing that money in, in secured investments like PPF and things like that, or maybe even like ELSS, uh, which is equity like mutual funds or NPS for that matter. And uh, the power of compounding such big that one can actually become uh, like a multi crorepati if I can use that word uh, at 60. So uh, it's, it's the earlier you start, the better it is, uh, is as simple as it gets. Yes, absolutely. But like we say that uh, the power of compounding is actually the eighth wonder of the world. And um, we have set examples where people who have started really early are able to build to this eight wonder and experience that one. But if somebody is actually starting early, uh, what kind of a mix would you suggest? Because there is uh, different criteria of risk taking when you enter different age brackets. What should be the initial mix looking like? And going forward, uh, what kind of a return expectation should one be having so that he can uh, have that multiplier effect on the wealth? Uh, so the multiplier effect, as you as you uh, uh, mentioned, will typically be applicable uh, uh, in, 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 at an intensity which may be different for different asset classes. So uh, typically, compounding is actually means that you earn return on return in that sense. Yeah, uh, 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 we we all learn the simple concept of uh, 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 simple interest, compound interest in our school textbooks, uh, but uh, uh, we never really understand uh, as as. Uh, uh, the word power of compounding or that being eight wonder of the world until we actually look at uh, how how it can actually impact our, our savings in life. So uh, you 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 spoke about Warren Buffett and uh, it's a common knowledge. Many people have uh, read about this. They actually get surprised that today uh, his wealth approximately is about one twenty billion dollars, and uh, uh, he actually earned ninety percent of that wealth after sixty five years of age. 
and uh, that's because in in next 30 35 years that he has earned that money 30 years that he has earned the money is actually earned share by the return on return that he's able to generate on his uh, on his investments so the the compounding comes into effect after a certain base has been established the compounding comes into effect after a certain amount of years have been uh, passed into investments uh, uh, before we go to which asset classes uh, or mix i think it's important to understand how it actually uh, plays out so if you were to do a simple sip of say 10000 rupees uh, every month to into a simple index fund and that generates theoretically say 12% per uh, return per annum uh, you would notice that at, at in year 5 uh, your corpus will be about 6 lakh rupees that you've invested has grown to 8.24 lakh rupees so uh, about 25% of your money Uh, uh is actually gains and rest is your principal uh, but the moment you look at 10th year uh, uh, what it becomes is your your corpus becomes about 23 lakh rupees and your investment amount is about 12 lakh rupees so 50 50% uh, is a component between gains and your principal investment come to 15th year uh, you would actually notice that if you continue to earn 12% return per annum you would see that your 18 lakh principal investment has actually become 32 lakh rupees or so at the same rate of return which actually means that you almost have Uh, got same amount of gains and principal, uh, and 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 your your gains are more than the two uh, x of the principal in that sense. Uh, come to year number twenty, you would notice that it's actually grown to almost three x uh, of your investments, twenty four lakh rupees, growing to almost seventy five lakh rupees. Uh, again, you go to year twenty five and year thirty, you would see it's almost five x and ten x. In fact, from year number twenty nine to year thirty. your your gains alone from 29th year to 30th year can be more than your entire principal of 30 years so that's power of compounding is like your 10000 rupees every month for next 30 years can actually grow into uh, almost 3.6 crore worth of investments it's very very sizable corpus for anybody in in, in today's uh, uh, even an inflation environment that we live in so uh, the the as you can see the, uh, the compounding kicks in on, on two things because you are on return on return and you give time to your investments so if you give this and and your your asset class is actually giving you good returns then uh, the compounding becomes far far bigger so by, by naturally you know uh, uh, if you look at the asset classes equity will always tend to give you better returns uh, it almost mimics the uh, real gdp growth in 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 an economy in terms of returns over long periods of time so you can actually earn a much more higher corpus by investing in equities uh, and of course uh, 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 it should be only done when you have time on your side which is possible when you start up so when you're 24 25 years of age very less liabilities uh, uh probably not enough spends as well because family responsibilities will not be high you can actually afford to put a lot of your money at work and start investing in equities at early age and uh, gain the uh, compounding as as we as we and experience the compounding as we learn about it Absolutely, uh, Mr. Santosh, and that's a very interesting maths that we were just highlighting for our viewers as well. But uh, over the years, that with thirty years of time span, like you were mentioning, that equities is one of the most preferred classes. We have uh, different kind of phases that go on in the equity market. Sometimes it's a bull phase, sometimes it's a bear phase. How much timing is important when you're going for such investments and I'm especially to, uh, asking uh, this question with respect to the index fund. Um, would you suggest going out uh, and doing some averaging when you are investing in equity as a class, or the other option could be just get invested into the index fund, and over the years you can expect better returns. So uh, I think it, it it depends on the kind of investor uh, one is. Uh, Uh, it also it also depends on the uh, uh, kind of investor personality that you bring to the table what kind of risk appetite you have uh, to ups and downs uh, or drawdowns in the marketplace as we are witnessing a kind of again a volatility in the marketplace for last few days and almost entire uh, 2022 calendar year has been like a very whipsawed marketplace so it all depends what kind of person you are what kind of uh, you know liabilities you have what kind of aspirations you have uh, so uh, and so what hap- what matters more Uh, to kind of you know get the benefit of compounding is the how much time you give and not timing uh, timing can be uh, uh, you know uh, uh, more attuned to 
or i don't know uh, you cannot get timing right every time uh, is how how it happens in the marketplace uh, you can get uh, you can do bottom fishing once or twice uh, uh, in life uh, really well uh, you may be able to time the top really well uh, once or twice again but most of the times you will not be able to get cash the exact bottom and the exact top so uh, uh, for retail investors it becomes all the more difficult uh, uh, to practice so i would actually recommend that uh, uh, follow the adage which is we always we hear here in marketplaces uh, you know give time to investments forget timing or it's not timing in the uh, timing the markets is time in the markets which creates wealth for you so use that uh, to your advantage and give timing to your time to your investments uh, uh, on your question about index funds uh, in terms of uh, uh, being a suitable investment uh, uh, we are a big proponents of uh, index funds as ed money uh, and we we believe in them as a, one of the best ways to create wealth for oneself but what also is important to note is uh, if you become a very very passive investor in passive products uh, and don't rebalance your portfolio portfolio don't really you know uh, look at risk uh, in your portfolio then it can give you a bigger shock uh, as we witnessed in march 2020 or or uh, 2008 uh, uh, in global financial crisis so it's always important to rebalance and what means what matters in rebalance is actually keeping an eye on the uh, asset allocation so if you're somebody who's comfortable putting 80% of, of your money in, into equities and been investing for long periods of time uh, you would notice that uh, the 20% debt component would not have grown significantly but 80% of money may have doubled and it may have meant that your asset allocation is there is actually like 955 so 95% of your wealth is in index funds on 5% is in debt funds or bank deposits or or savings accounts what whatever that may be uh, it's very easy to keep that in mind that take 15% off the table book that profit for yourself so that you can actually uh, you know feel Uh, or use that money to your advantage and uh, put to good use as well uh, so uh, what is also important to keep in mind along with power of compounding is a uh, 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 kind of you know keeping an eye on the risk and asset allocation helps you create real wealth because you create you create wealth by selling and not by just buying till the time you don't convert your paper profits into real profits uh, you would not be able to enjoy the advantage of it and one of the better ways to do is rebalancing your portfolio not timing the market uh, so having a strategy about uh, booking profits is far more important uh, than actually saying i will time the top Okay, absolutely. Take your point, Mr. Santosh. And my last question to you is on inflation, because we are having such challenging times. Where in India today the inflation is nearing seven percent. Would like to know your perspective on how does inflation affect the investment plans for one person? Because we are talking about power of compounding, and it is uh, being experienced in a longer term horizon. But during that time, do you uh, feel that it is a cyclical phase? It will go. How should one adjust uh, to such challenging times when inflation is headed upwards? Uh, so uh, I think it's it's uh, uh, again goes back to the uh, having an investment plan uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, knowing your risk appetite, knowing your horizons of investment, knowing. and understanding your aspirations and actually planning according to that so if we look at inflation on the count today uh, uh, i think uh, uh, 10 year gsec touched about 7.2% sometime last week and has been hovering around that level for a while now uh, I, and if uh, uh, the the yields or the interest in the economy starts continues to climb up uh, i think it it actually changes how you evaluate investment so if you're getting a risk free return of 8% from government securities uh, or 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 similar investment opportunities then one's tendency or uh, uh, inclination to invest in equities uh, would actually go down and should go down because we, you, you should not take unnecessary risk on your portfolio so when when interest rates in economy actually go up uh, the the expectation on the returns from businesses actually go down because cost of doing business goes up uh, and uh, ultimately it impacts equity valuations uh, 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 going forward in the future so keeping that equation in mind that if interest rates uh, are actually quite real uh, or are, uh, they are not negative because they're giving you uh, beyond inflation uh, then once one should be careful about one, how one is planning once in equity investments like uh, uh, in in our in our recommendation services that we run onto the app quality money genius we actually uh, have been uh, maintaining about 
80% equities and 20% around in debt and gold for almost uh, entire 2022, simply because the evaluations have been stretched and, and uh, interest rates are expected to go up uh, given the inflation readings we keep getting from the marketplace and globally uh, for last few months. So uh, uh, keeping an eye on inflation and interest rates actually can guide your uh, uh, allocation equities in a lot better way compared to in isolation. Well, okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Santosh, for joining us today on ET Now and telling how should one be uh, planning to actually experience this power of compounding. It was indeed an insightful conversation with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So that was the power of compounding for you, where we learned that how you should start and how you should go to plan early, what benefits you can actually reap in over the years and how it can actually reward you, which are the various instruments where you can park your money and at ET Money, what are the experts recommending to you? But with this, it's time to slip into a short break. But on the other side of the break, we are having a very interesting conversation. It's April and you must be expecting your bonus money as well as your raised salary. And we have a plan for you where you should be investing that. To know more, stay tuned.